we bring up Kevin Dugan. And I actually have to read this. I have to read this on my iPhone because his introduction is so long. It is um, a pragmatic approach oh, to the Cincinnati solution or something like that. So give it up for Kevin Dugan. Rolls right off your tongue. I didn't know I could cuss tonight. That's bullshit. Bullshit. Okay. What is the syndrome, right? Cincinnati syndrome is assuming that we are somehow less than other cities. The New Jersey of the Midwest. <laughs> Come on now. You know, and it starts out as jokes. I've made them, you know, but then it winds up that we're just known as flyover country. We're flat, and we've got our own sitcom. The sitcom's not flat, but that's another story. Um, <laughs> It, seriously, though, it's holding us back. It's holding us back, you know, and I blame it on Twain, even though he didn't really have the quote about being in Cincinnati because it'll happen, you know, the end of the world. Uh, it'll happen there 10 years later. Um, I think that's sort of at the base of all of this. I've been living in town for 40 years and have seen this syndrome, and I, I think uh, that's part of it. But for us to say that Cincinnati's not wor as worthy as other cities is complete bullshit. I don't buy it. I've been here for 40 years. I've seen what's going on. I know what's going on in the city. And I do not, um, I'm not going to give that, that any credibility. I'm not going to just, you know, forget about our past. I'm not going to be Pollyanna and try and erase our past. It's, it's part of who we are, and we've come a long way. You know, the riots happened in 2001, and um, it's been almost 10 years for us to still be known as the, since, you know, the city where the riots happened. doesn't make any sense. Um, we've done so much since then. And um, it's a big incident, though. It's a big incident that, that definitely impacted our city. Uh, similarly, that's an x-ray of my right arm. I had a very um, uh, big incident that happened in my life. I'm not going to get into the details. I'm also not trying to compare a broken arm to the riots. It's apples and oranges. But what is the same in this, looks pretty, pretty rad, too, but the, the, what is similar about this is that you know, I have a choice much as Cincinnati does. We can, you know, lock in orbit around these, these incidents and basically not move forward, not evolve, and not um, go forward. Or it can be a, a sort of a dot on the map, you know, your low point. And look at all the stuff that can happen afterwards. Um, I think that's really the way to look at it and see how your course has changed. It's a whole new trajectory for the city. Uh, there's so much going on here. This is our Wikipedia. Uh, entry is a word cloud, and I love some of these words. Uh, you know, Ohio first, one, American. Uh, it's just sort of the tip of the iceberg as to what we have here. I've tried to turn this into a map and show all the stuff we've got going on. It's really ugly, but it starts to take a look at all the things that we have in our corner. Um, you know, we've got R&D, we've got nine Fortune 500 HQs here, startups and entrepreneurs like the folks here at Ignite. You know, we've got a lot of, of marketing folks up at the top there, all in a corner, huddling. Electronic and print media, it's our national sports teams. It's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. There's so much here. That's, and that's, that's not even the whole list. That's just the ones that I chose to put on the slide. Um, it's, it's nationally recognized assets that we have. And I, I think we forget about it. We bitch about the Reds, we bitch about the Bengals, and leave it at that. But um, I'm happy to have them in the city. And if our city's a brand, you know, if we start to look at this and we take all those assets, how are we going to compete with other cities? What are we going to do? You know, we have to stand out. We have a lot of strengths to leverage if we're going to kick the Cincinnati syndrome. Um, you know, we, it's, not, it's not extremely simple, but if you're organized, it's going to work. I feel that, that that quote that's miscredited to Twain is part of it. I think pragmatism is the answer. We need to be pragmatic. It's, a, it's an advantage we have. It differentiates us. Agenda 360. They're actually taking it a step further, and they're going to uh, focus on the common thread through that map that I, I tried to draw. And uh, they've noted a common thread there is marketing, consumer marketing more specifically. We own consumer marketing as a city. It's something that we can claim. We kick ass at consumer marketing. Um, it, you know, it differentiates us. We can claim it, and it leverages all of our strengths. So, it, you know, it's an inside-out process that we have to start here. It's up to us. You know, if we don't start talking about this as a city and kill Cincinnati syndrome, it's never going to change. So, um, you know, from top down and companies, you know, folks at Agenda 360 are already talking to them, and it'll it'll create this whole new trajectory for us, as symbolized by the space shuttle. Um, it, it's subtle, isn't it? Abstract, even. Uh, you know, there, there's so much potential, though, and I think that it sounds small, 
but I do feel Cincinnati syndrome holds us back. You know, they're about to finish the crown on uh, Queen City Square. We're known as the Queen City. I think we earned that. We still earned it. You know, it's ours, and we should be defenders of the crown. Sounds a little cheesy, but think about it. Be proud. God alone can't save the Queen City. I'm Catholic, I asked. But all of us together, working together, we can do it. So be proud, be pragmatic, and let's go out there and kick some ass!